So some of my favourite items in the National Library's collection are these sketches done by John Herschel, the astronomer. John Herschel was quite an incredible man. Um, he was the son of the astronomer William Herschel, who was the discoverer of the planet Uranus. Um, and he was a brilliant scholar in his own right. He went to Cambridge University where he studied maths, uh, for which he won prizes. He won prizes for classics. He was also um, an accomplished uh, pianist. He played the flute. He was fluent in French, fluent in German, um, elected to the Royal Society at the tender age of 21, uh, an all-round kind of Renaissance man. And when he arrived at the Cape, his assignment was really to chart the, the, the course of the um, stars in the, the Southern Hemisphere. He arrived in the Cape in 1834, and he immediately set out with his astronomical observations, and then on the side he would do these, these drawings of what he saw around him. Um, so this is the first drawing that he did when he arrived on the land. He was drawing on the boat, on the crossing over as well. Um, and it's a picture of Table Mountain and Devil's Peak. So one of the things that you will notice when looking at these drawings is they are exquisitely detailed and the way that he was able to achieve this kind of detail was using a, a pretty innovative device at the time called a camera lucida and that basically was um, a drawing aid which involved a prism connected to a clamp and it would um, project the image in front of him onto a sheet of glass and he would peer through the glass and see uh, uh, a blank sheet of paper and then he would trace the image that he saw on the glass through, through the glass onto the paper. Um, and so for me these are, these are spellbindingly um, lucid insights into what the cape looked like at the time, not just the flora and the fauna but the people here too. And on each of these sketches that he drew with the camera lucida, you, you know that it was done with the, uh, this device because he's written cam look. And if you look closely, you can see that annotation over here. So this one of Table Mountain and Devil's Peak was done on the 1st of February, 1834. Um, probably my, my favorite of all of his drawings um, is in this portfolio over here. And this is Table Mountain from Lily Park, um, which he drew from Felthausen, which was his residence for almost the whole time, the whole four years he was at the Cape. And um, it's a slightly darker charcoal print, but just from a sheer artistic aesthetic point of view, uh, the detail and the kind of nooks and crannies on the side of the mountain uh, and the spread of the landscape in front, I find absolutely captivating. Um, Bearing in mind this wasn't done by an artist, this was done by somebody trained formerly as a, a mathematician and an astronomer. This is not the only thing that the library has been bequeathed by uh, the Herschel family. Um, so amongst the collection we also have his, his astronomical observations and also some very charming watercolour sketches that he did with his wife Margaret while he was here. So for that reason I think John Herschel uh, by himself is almost a one-man treasure trove that we are exceedingly lucky to uh, have represented in our collection.